Welcome back to Crawl Space Encounters. Thank you guys for joining me again. All right, well, this is a wonderful neighborhood. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Birds are chirping. Spring is definitely here. I'm loving it. Got ourselves another one here. Let's, uh, let's take a dive and see what's cooking. I'll meet you on the inside. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Um, it's a nice looking crawl space door. Funky lock here, but let's check it out. Uh, got a little ramp in here. So this is, I'm going in through like an addition they put onto this house. This house is pretty big. It's really, really nice. Um, this is a great neighborhood. This is a little bit more of the uppity uppity kind of neighborhood. Yeah, this is all uh this is all an addition here. Um they nice look at the size of those piers. Those are nice. Yeah, look at all the storage room they have. I would definitely uh clean this up a little bit. So that this wall right here, that's the original wall. Right here, that, that's that's the original, all that brick. They just busted out all the brick from the original well, portion of the house. And they just added it on from there. I would have kind of cleaned that up a little bit more. Made this a little bit more of a storage area for sure. Um, maybe lay down some a thicker liner. Yeah, you got a lot of good storage space down here. A lot. This is good stuff. Now, the original portion of the crawl space, man, this place looks like a mess. Look at this. Wow. This is not a cheap house. <laughs> By far. We got a lot of zeros. Maybe 1.5. I'm going to have to say 1.5. Water is definitely getting in the screen. Nobody has done any work. Look at that, something, that well. I don't know what that is there. This water heater. It's 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 new looks fairly new uh the other one probably just rusted out like that like this one's about to do here pretty soon they all dump out there's a sump pump with some kind of uh hose i don't know man they really cut some corners here i, I I'm, I'm not looking forward to seeing the rest of this. it kind of makes me a little 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 upset, you know, because they don't take care of this. Water is definitely coming into this. Look at that wall back there. Oh my goodness. That is a front portion of the house. Water does come into this foundation. This seems to be the lowest part of the house. Um water all comes in right through that all you can see the water line. And we haven't had rain in weeks. It's supposed to rain here in the next uh on and off of them for them this whole week. So I'm I'm curious to see what's going to happen here, but either way, this place is going to have to be um, remediated. Uh, I wouldn't take the chance and say no. There's no rain entering, uh, no rainwater coming in through here. But for the most part, it's got a vapor barrier, an older vapor barrier. Somebody's done something down here. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is a pretty tall. Crawl space. That water just comes in right through that. Look, you see, you see all the water marks. Right, probably right through that hole, right through the bricks. Um, no reason why somebody with a little oomph still in them can't come down here and do a little, a uh, little work themselves. Here's the HVAC system. Uh, looks like an older model. I'm not too sure. No plastic underneath. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, it's just insulation falling down once again. Insulation is just seems to be always a problem in these crawl spaces. Just if you know you're getting an inspection done to the home. Just come down here, man. Look around. Kind of fix it up. You're going to have pictures being taken. 
you know, this is all going to go to the potential buyers. All the pictures and, you know, the upstairs of the house is absolutely gorgeous. Put a lot of money into that. And down here, just, you know, this is what you're breathing in the house. I don't care, you know, what you do. This, is, this, this finds its way into your home. I'm just trying to figure out what's the best way for me to get around here. Got all these pipes. Pieces of insulation falling down. Gotta just keep it clean. I don't know what that mound of dirt is here. It's coming from behind of that. That's the dirt pill porch. That all needs to get covered up with plastic. Try to avoid any kind of fungus growth on your wood. You want to keep the humidity levels down. Got ourselves more insulation just leaning on some wire. Got the old brick holding up the, the main, water main. <laughs> Whatever. You got to do. See, they got some straps right there. Holding up some, some of the plumbing. You want to try to keep as much, as little tension, uh, a little as little weight on those pipes as possible. There is zero daylight down here. Like, all the vents are closed off. They're in the ground. They should have vent wells, but there is, like, no daylight coming in through any of these vents. Here's some tracks from some critters. Who knows what it is? Chipmunk, squirrel, chupacabra. Not a clue. Insulation just falling down. I don't see any wires from where those insula the pieces of insulation is falling down. So once again, it's probably just lack of putting enough hangers on this insulation to keep it up. You know, then anything walks on it, like one of those little chipmunks or whatever, they, you know, there they go, they fall down. Can't tell you how many busted pipes I've already seen from all that insulation just putting its weight on it. Some old termite, looks like some old termite uh, activity there on that wood. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, it's kind of a narrow crawl space. Not much of a, not much going on. There's a bunch going on here. They must have had some leaks there. Um, not sure what's going on here, but some mineral deposit. Looks like there's some, some powder of some kind. It's probably some lime. It probably did have a uh, water leak there at one time. Plumber came in through some lime. But this is, like I said, this is a really nice crawl space to work. It's tall. For the most part, I mean, it's tall, taller than the usual uh, crawl spaces I see or crawl in. But, you know, if you got to do some work here, this is this is good. This is good stuff. But at the same time, it's also easy to keep a nice dry environment. Get down a nice new plastic, a heavier mill, throw it a dehumidifier. That entire wall I'm looking at. That goes. That's the back wall of the house. They added a shed, uh, um, a screen, a huge screened-in porch. That addition. There's all kinds of things in the back of the house that's not allowing any airflow to come from that whole front portion of uh, back portion of the house, and some on the front portion. So there's zero airflow getting into this crawl space. And that's not good. You want if if you're not going to put a dehumidifier, you want as much airflow as possible. You want to get some air getting, I don't know if that line is hot. We'll find out. I don't know, you'd be surprised if you would just cut wires down and just leave it. Forget about it, leave it. They go back out there, they're like, you know, I don't feel like going back in the crawl space. And they split. <laughs> I hate to say it, but man, it's true. 
Guys, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That helps out quite a bit. Let's get some subscribers. It's good stuff. Keep me rolling here. I appreciate the company. You guys' comments, thank you so much for being supportive. Tell me I'm going to die from breathing all this stuff in. There's another wire, possibly hot. Who knows? Nah, I don't think so. We'll find out. Just wires everywhere. Yeah, not a good crawl space. Not impressed. The house is gorgeous. But the crawl space is nasty. Needs a, a, a French drain. Look at this. Wow. This is a found this is the reason why the upstairs wasn't uh, the doors were weren't closing. Look at the brick. It's separated. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's not good. Water is coming in through this. This is where that back, um, they built a, uh, a, a like a huge sunroom. Look at that. It's about an inch. Look at that. That is, that's not, <laughs> oh my goodness, something happened here. Mm-mm-mm. No way. God. Call a mason. You can see over here. This pier has completely separated itself from the foundation, from the foundation wall, and it's not even uh, touching any of the uh, outer joist. Look at that. At least this one over here is. At least it's. That Joyce is hanging on to something. That's crazy. It smells real humid. This place is this place right here gets real humid. I don't want to be down here when it rains. Thank you guys so much for your support. This this crawl space is uh, not good. This is definitely a failed crawl space. Uh there's just no way this is gonna be there's gonna have to be some work here i wish uh i wish i could say something different but i can't uh somebody's gotta buy this house and just gotta be straight up with people anyway crawl space encounters just another lovely crawl space i'll catch you on the next one all right well that was a little bit of an adventure not too uh not too, too bad, but obviously we got some foundation problems here. So probably the reason why uh, there's some doors upstairs that aren't opening and closing. There's a sliding door. This house is going for a lot of money. This is probably about a 1.5. Uh, 1.5, easy. Um, this crawl space just looks like nobody's been taking care of it. I mean, there's water down. Water's getting through the foundation walls. There's some mildew and fungi. Um, you can see they already have to replace that water heater. This addition right here is it's not in bad shape. It will be eventually, but uh, for the most part, one entire side of the house. Uh, just not getting any ventilation down here. Um, so definitely some uh, repairs need to be done. Um, but for the most part, uh, moisture, take care of your HVAC. Um, there's some questionable water lines on there, some questionable electrical lines on there. I'm going to have to get my kit and see if all that stuff is, uh, what's going on with all that stuff. But it's such a beautiful house inside. Great neighborhood. What a neighborhood. I, I couldn't live in this neighborhood. Um, but for the most part, the crawl space, trashed. I mean, literally trashed. I don't like this. Look at those cost. As you can see, this was a nice, friendly crawl space to cruise around. Um, but for the most part, even if you're, uh, you know, this is something you can do yourself. Just maintain things. Just look at. But people seem to forget they have a whole lower portion of their house that they're running all kinds of stuff down here with. Uh, you know, ARAC, your heating, your plumbing, everything is down here. Crawl space failed so 
Thank you guys so much. Crossface Encounters. See you on the next one.